What's going on, y'all? This your boy MB, Mike Bree TV. Welcome to another exclusive. You surprised, ain't it? Your boy has finally cleared up. Now, um, I have to tell you guys, I'm still taking the medication, so you know it's I, it, it, some of the stuff is still in my fingers and all that. But I just want to let you guys know I'm feeling a whole lot better now, and I'm keep it rolling for you. Now. With your boy clearing up and getting back in the role of things, I have a very special exclusive that I'm sure you guys will enjoy today. Now, this title is called The Top 5 Things That ESPN Says About LeBron James. And this, I put some real thought about into it. Some of the stuff that I say is, it, it, it necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to do with things that ESPN reports, but ESPN first take of what they say about LeBron James. Some people's comments on ESPN, the world, the worldwide leader in sports, what they say about LeBron James, and I kind of put it all together. From, from five, I'm going to start from five all the way to one. And number one, I'm pretty sure you guys will laugh on this one. So here we go. I wrote it all on paper. All right. Number five. Now I'm pretty sure this is common. Number five. LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan. Now, what are you guys' opinions on that? To me, I say, well, I guess an all-around player, yeah, he's better than Jordan, I guess, because he does layups all the time and nobody guards him, so I guess that's why he sh shoots a high percentage. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But other than that, he wasn't really a good shooter to begin with. So I'm going to say no because six rings beats two meaningless rings in Miami because he got beat so he got took his behind back home. So I'm going to disagree with that. No, he's not better than Jordan. Number four. This is also common. LeBron James is strong. Like, like I'm not even kidding you. Some people actually, the, the gay LeBron lovers, they actually praise on how strong he is and nobody can stop him. Well, <laughs> what happened in the finals? Kawhi Leonard stopped him. I mean, totally whooped his ass in the finals. But yet, y'all hate on Kawhi Leonard and he got the MVP. Why hate, on, why hate on the quiet guy that got the MVP? Kawhi Leonard is a pretty cool guy now. Then LeBron James. So LeBron James is strong. 260, 270, well, it doesn't even matter because he's skinny now. And back on number two, you you realize that. Okay, number three, LeBron is coming home. That's also common, isn't it? Even though, I, what, what, what was it, July 11th? Dude, it's August the 24th, 25th. They still talk about I'm coming home, LeBron's coming home. Tell the world that LeBron's coming home. I'm in Miami, I'm gonna pack up my bags. I'm going to Cleveland, cause I don't care about Miami. But you were in Miami because LeBron James was in Miami. So that proves that you're a bandwagon there. You see, you see how I kinda tied that in there? He's coming home, ESPN, we get it already. He's coming home, okay. But the only reason why he's coming home is because he got beat real bad in the finals. His soft behind, his crybaby behind, took his behind back home. If they would have won, guess what? He wouldn't even talk about Cleveland. And guess what? He had the same supporting cast, same supporting cast from 2013. And he said he didn't have any help. Huh? He had the same supporting cast in 2013. The only difference was the Spurs were just a better team than Miami Heat. But yet, Pat Riley challenged you, and guess what? He got scared and took his talents back home, which I guarantee you if they fail this year, I wonder what will happen next. A one-time thing where he, I guess I'm going to go to, I don't know, whatever. And, and he'll just be another role player journeyman with two rings. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think on that about that. Well, number two, LeBron James is skinny. That's also referring to 
um, I guess, number four. Yeah, LeBron James is skinny, ESPN. That's almost, that's almost like putting out the same report as him coming home. LeBron James is skinny. We get it already. And now, all the soft behind players like Carmelo Anthony, people who don't even have championship rings, all these, all these random players are following LeBron James now? Come on, be your own person. I understand that's a good idea to become skinny, but don't say it's become skinny just because LeBron James is skinny. I want to I follow my best friend. Like, it's so buddy-buddy in this generation of the NBA. There's no competition. Everybody wants to form superstar teams. Isn't it sad? Man, I wish it was the 90s game. But at the same time, you know, never mind because of the iPod touches and iPhones. Never mind. I don't want to be like that. But I'm just saying, the 90s era was a whole lot better with Jordan and all of that. Because you had the competition even though you knew who was going to win. Michael Jordan. But anyway, last but not least, are you ready for number one? And number one on my list is, what should LeBron James eat for breakfast? <laughs> I just have to throw the paper. <laughs> what? Now, I'm pretty sure you guys heard that type of segment on ESPN. Um, I, I, I forgot I forgot what day it was that they even said that on, reported that on ESPN. But I shit you not, they actually said that on ESPN. Wow, um, one of the reporters was like, man, um, LeBron James ate so-and-so for breakfast this morning. And then they all laughing and giggling. Oh, yeah, he's my favorite player and everything. We, we as an audience, we as somebody watching the TV on our own screen, do we give a damn about what he had for breakfast? Especially if we don't even like him or people that don't even care too much for him. Do we give a damn about what he had for breakfast? No, it's the NBA. Talk about NBA things. Talk about any other NBA players, but LeBron James. I don't give a damn what he had for breakfast. Okay, let's leave it as that. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of today's show for you guys. That is my list. The top five things that ESPN says about LeBron James. In the comments below, tell me what you guys think. Or make up your own list, because I'd like to see, see your list, especially since I don't think anybody brings this stuff up. Like, it's so ridiculous. The LeBron lovers talk about him so much, even though I used to be a LeBron lover. But when he went to Miami, I actually stopped liking him because, to me, I think he was a better person already when he was in Cleveland. When he left, he, he became a punk. I mean, you, you were your own leader, your own person. The only reason why you came back convincingly is because you got your behind whooped. If you didn't get your behind whooped, you wouldn't even go back to Cleveland. And I'm pretty sure later on in your career, you wouldn't even go back. I'm just saying. But anyway, I'm going to put something up here. Subscribe. Put up here or eat up here and click on subscribe for me. Because more of these videos are coming. More exclusive. This is your boy MB, Micro TV. This concludes today's show. I'm going to always stay the same. And as you all know, I am out.